today's lesson will be on solving quadratics by graphing. Our first example is f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 8. As we can tell, the x squared makes us see that this is a parabola. What we have to figure out is if the parabola will open upward or downward. And how we can figure that out is by the negative in this equation. The negative tells you that this parabola will be opening downward. Negative. To solve this, we must make a table. I have my values, x and f of x, and the numbers I chose. You put your numbers into the equation, for example, negative 3 times 2 squared plus 8 would equal 4, negative 4. And our negative 3 times 1 squared plus 8 will equal 5, and so on and so forth, 8, 5, and negative 4 again. Once we have made our table, we can graph, remembering that our parabola is going to be going downward. Graphing my points, I got a parabola going downward that looks like this. For our next example, we will be doing f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. To solve this equation, we must find the coefficients first, a, b, and c, to later on enter it into this equation. Our a is 1 because of this. There is no number in front of the x, which equals 1 always. Our b is 6 because of the number in front of this value, and our c is 5. Once we put those numbers into this equation, x equals negative b over 2a, which is also written like this with our values, negative 6 divided by 2 times 1 equals 3. Our b is 6, and our a is 1, so we are correct. x equals negative 3 will be our line of symmetry in the parabola. Next, we must graph. We must use a table before we graph to enter our points. Once again, I have my x and my x f of x, and the numbers I chose to plot with. We enter them in once again: negative five squared plus six times negative five plus five, which equals zero. And as you can tell, there's a pattern. This one also equals zero and this one also equals negative 3. Now that we can graph this using our table, we see that our line of symmetry is at negative 3 and our parabola is facing upwards.